Okay, mice, run away. Well, how can such a tiny thing possibly catch a mouse? Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out the Blackbeard Mouse Trap, one of the smallest and most unique mouse traps that I've ever seen. It's basically a core foundation for a walk the plank style mouse trap where you can use water bottles, coins, soda cans, and other items to make the perfect mouse trap. Here's what the Blackbeard Mouse Trap looks like when it's been attached to the edge of a bucket. It fits on the rim with the groove right there and is secured with a screw down below. It feels like a solid trap. The mice will walk out there, try to get the bait, and then they'll get dunked. Now I'm not sure about the balance point, it's trial and error. Hopefully these two quarters are enough to reset the trap after we catch a mouse. But there's only one way to find out. First we're going to test it out with our pet mice, then we're going to set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch some wild mice. Now I don't want our pet mice to get hurt when they fall down, so I'll give them a soft landing. Let's go get the pet mice and see what happens. Okay mouse, show us how this trap works. Hey, it worked well. It went out there, got dunked, and then the trap reset. But the real test is out in the barn with the wild mice. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, when I checked the trap this morning, I discovered quite a sight. In the bottom of the bucket, we have two native deer mice and what was left of a third mouse. Also, the trap wasn't set, it was stuck down. So after reviewing the motion camera footage, I learned what happened last night. The first thing I learned is, I don't have the balance point set perfectly with the trap with the water bottle and the quarters is counterweight and it has the tendency to get stuck down. A few times, mice checked it out. They went in the bottle, felt it move, and jumped away and it relied on a second mouse resetting the trap for the next victim. Now unfortunately, the cameras didn't turn on for the first mouse we caught. That was a non-native invasive house mouse. It was a smaller species, but I assume it got dunked. But that wasn't the case with the second mouse. It's a native deer mouse and it has a huge bot fly on the side. You can see the lump. It saw the bait down below and took a swan dive and jumped in there. But I do know this trap works because with the third mouse, it wanted the bait, went in the tube, and then it got dunked. So it can work, but I have to adjust the balance point. Now what we have down here are the two native deer mice. Even though they killed that third mouse, I'm still gonna let them go. They're a native species, part of the ecosystem. So I'm gonna take them out in the wild and set them free. Okay mice, run away. Go this way. Wow, the bot fly on that deer mouse was huge. As I wrap up this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. Thank you so much for your support. On this channel, I test out every mouse trap I can get my hands on. I have a collection with over 2,000 different mouse traps, and the Blackbeard is different than anything I've seen before. It is a walk the plank style mouse trap, but it's pretty much choose your own adventure. You can use quarters and cups, water bottles, all kinds of things to make a mouse trap, but it does require the perfect balance point. I didn't have it just right on this one, and we had some failures, so you are gonna have to make some adjustments, but it's a very creative idea. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm currently posting new videos every Monday and Friday, so if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. And if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.